Hey everyone, a happy Sunday to you all. I hope you're having a great weekend, but most importantly, I hope that you guys are staying safe and well out there. Well, welcome back to another video. We are on day 246 of Bible in one year, and I'm going to be reading Ezekiel chapter 31 and 32. If you have not done so already, please go walk, go back and watch yesterday's video so that you know what I've read previously. And please stick around after the reading. I'm going to be posting a video for those who would like to make Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior. And you guys can repeat after me if you would like to make that decision. All right, let's dive right into this word. The Bible says from the New King James Version in Ezekiel chapter 31, verse 1 through 18. Now it came to pass in the 11th year and the third month on the first day of the month that the word of the Lord came to me saying, Son of man. Say to Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and to his multitude, Whom are you like in your greatness? Indeed, Assyria was a cedar in Lebanon, with fine branches that shaded the forest, and of high stature, and its top was among the thick boughs. The water made it grow. Underground waters gave it height, with their rivers running around the place where it was planted, and sent out rivulets to all the trees of the field. Therefore, its height was exalted above all the trees of the field. Its bows were multiplied, and its branches became long because of the abundance of water. As it sent them out, all the birds of the heavens made their nest in its bows. Under its branches, all the beasts of the field brought forth their young, and in its shadow, all great nations made their home. Thus it was beautiful in greatness and in the length of its branches because its roots reached its abundant water. The cedars of the garden of God could not hide it. The fir trees were not brought like its boughs, and the chestnut trees were not like its branches. No tree in the garden of God was like it in beauty. I made it beautiful with a multitude of branches, so that all the trees of Eden envied it. They were in the garden of God. Therefore, thus says the Lord God, because you have increased in height, and it set its top among the thick boughs, and its heart was lifted up in its height. Therefore, I will deliver it into the hand of the mighty one of the nations, and he shall surely deal with it. I have driven it out for its wickedness, and aliens, the most terrible of the nations, have cut it down and left it. Its branches have fallen on the mountains, and in all the valleys its boughs lie broken by all the rivers of the land. And all the peoples of the earth have gone from under its shadow and left it. On its ruin will remain all the birds of the heavens, and all the beasts of the field will come to its branches, so that no trees by the waters may ever again exalt themselves for their height, nor set their tops among the thick boughs, that no tree which drinks water may ever be high enough to reach up to them. For they have all been delivered to the death, to the depths of the earth among the children of men who go down to the pit. Thus says the Lord God, In the day when it went down to hell, I caused mourning. I covered the deep because of it. I restrained its rivers, and the great waters were held back. I caused Lebanon to mourn for it, and all the trees of the field wilted because of it. I made the nation shake at the sound of its fall. And I cast it down to hell together with those who descend into the pit. And all the trees of Eden, the choice and best of Lebanon, all that drink water were comforted in the depths of the earth. They also went down to hell with it, with those slain by the sword, and those who were in strong arm dwelt in its shadows among the nations. To which of the trees in Eden will you then be likened in glory and greatness? Yet ye shall be brought down with the trees of Eden to the depths of the earth. Ye shall lie in the midst of the uncircumcised, with those slain by the sword. This is Pharaoh and all his multitude, says the Lord God. Ezekiel chapter 32, verse 1 through 32. And it came to pass in the twelfth year, and the twelfth month, on the first day of the month, that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, Take up a lamentation for Pharaoh, king of Egypt, and say to him, You are like a young lion among the nations, and you are like a monster in the seas, bursting forth in your rivers, troubling the waters with your feet, and fouling their rivers. 
Thus says the Lord God, I will therefore spread my net over you with a company of many people, and they will draw you up in my net. Then I will leave you out on the land. I will cast you out on the open fields and cause to settle on all the birds of the heavens. And with you, I will fill the beast on the whole earth. I will lay your flesh on the mountains and fill the valleys with your carcass. I will also water the land with the flow of your blood. Even to the mountains and the riverbeds will be full of you. When I put out your light, I will cover the heavens and make its stars dark. I will cover the sun with a cloud and the moon shall not give her light. All the bright lights of the heavens I will cause dark over you and bring darkness upon your land, says the Lord God. I will also trouble the hearts of many people. I will bring your destruction among the nations into the countries which you have not known. Yes, I will make many peoples astonished at you, and their king shall be horribly afraid of you when I brandish my sword before them. And they shall tremble every moment, every man for his own life in the day of your fall. For thus says the Lord God, the sword of the king of Babylon shall come upon you by the swords of the mighty warriors, all of them the most terrible of nations. I will cause your multitude to fall. They shall plunder the pomp of Egypt, and all its multitude shall be destroyed. Also I will destroy all its animals from beside its great waters. The foot of man shall muddy them no more, nor shall the hooves of animals muddy them. Then I will make the waters clear and make their rivers run like oil, says the Lord God. When I make the land of Egypt desolate and the country and destitute of all that once filled it, when I strike all who dwell in it, then they shall know that I am the Lord. This is a lamentation with which they shall lament her. The daughters of the nation shall lament her. They shall lament her for her, for Egypt, for all her multitude, says the Lord God. It came to pass also in the twelfth year, on the fifteenth day of the month, that the word of the Lord came to me, saying, Son of man, wail over the multitude of Egypt, and cast them down to the depths of the earth, her and the daughters of the famous nations, with those who go down to the pit. Whom do you surpass in beauty? Go down, be placed with the uncircumcised. They shall fall in the midst of those slain by the sword. She is delivered to the sword, drawing her for all her multitudes. The strong among the mighty shall speak to him out of the midst of hell with those who help him. They have gone down. They lie with the uncircumcised, slain by the sword. Assyria is there and all her company with their graves all around her, all of them slain fallen by the sword. Her graves are set in the recess of the pit, and her company is all around her grave, all of them slain, fallen by the sword, who caused terror in the land of the living. There is Elam and all her multitude, all around her grave, all of them slain, fallen by the sword, who have gone down uncircumcised to the lower parts of the earth, who caused their terror in the land of the living. Now they bear their shame with those who go down to the pit. They have set her bed in the midst of the slain with all her multitude, with her graves all around it. All of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword, though their terror was caused in the land of the living, yet they bear their shame with those who go down to the pit. It was put in the midst of the slain. There are Meshach and Tubal and all their multitudes with all their graves around it all of them uncircumcised, slain by the sword, though they cause their terror in the land of the living. They do not lie with the mighty who are fallen of the uncircumcised, who have gone down to hell with their weapons of war. They have laid their swords under their heads, but their iniquities will be on their bones because of the terror of the mighty in the land of the living. Yes, you shall be broken in the midst of the uncircumcised and lie with those slain by the sword. There is Edom, her princes and all her kings who despite their might are laid beside those slain by the sword. They shall lie with the uncircumcised and with those who go down to the pit. There are the princes of the north, all of them and all the Sidonians who have gone down with the slain and shame at the terror which they cause by their might. They lie uncircumcised with those slain by the sword and bear their shame with those who go down to the pit. 
Pharaoh will see them and be comforted over his multitude. Pharaoh and all his army slain by the sword, says the Lord God. For I have caused my terror in the land of the living, and he shall be placed in the midst of the uncircumcised. And with those slain by the sword, Pharaoh and all his multitude, says the Lord. And that concludes today's reading. If you'd like to make the decision to make Jesus Christ your personal Lord and Savior, then please click on this video and repeat after me. Please join me again on my channel tomorrow. And remember to hit the notification bell, comment, like, and subscribe, subscribe, subscribe to Time with Tiffy, where we enjoy reading books of the Bible, doing Bible in one year. You all have a blessed day, my beautiful brothers and sisters in Christ. Until next time.